God bless our home, all edged and planed, all smoothed out and ready to go to the next stage, which will be the gluing aspect of this piece. And you'll be able to see it on the edge here, the brain's going one way and the opposite direction for the other side of the board. So it stays straight and level, or I should say level, but it doesn't work. And then that's what she's hopefully going to look like when she's done. We shall see. God bless our home. All cut out. And ready for lamination. And the process will be fairly straightforward. The three pieces in the center will be laminated on top of each other. The two pieces above the wings will be laminated on top of the wings. And that will give me the added height and depth that I'm going to be looking to have on this carving. It should be a very interesting process. You'll see how it comes together in a few videos to follow. But right now, this is the first stage of many to follow. I've always wondered how much one of my ladies weighed before I start carving them down. And now I know this one's going to be 30 pounds. It'll be interesting to see how much she weighs after she loses a few pounds here. It should be interesting. But as you can see, you can see how thick her neck is so far. It's going to be coming down. And the rest of her, I'll be putting her on a diet, so to speak. Chipping away a little bit at a time. She's all together now as far as all the laminating and gluing and detail work being laid in. As you will notice, there's a lot of lines on her. The lines will be actually areas that will be the American flag when she's all done. That will be different folds in different areas. Then we have the shield area. And then we have her head. And you can see I added a thickness to the head area so it's going to be taller and more prouder than normal. And you can get an idea of the overall thickness of the piece, how big it's going to be. And the other side with the wing in the background, the other section of the wing in the background, the red line you see will be the rounding off area that will indicate the fullness of her body. This way you get an idea, oh let me see the thickness, better idea of overall height before I start taking her down to size. And the rear of the carving, a rough idea of where the tassels are going to be and how the band is going to flow up. In the bottom, the shield and the banners, how that's going to come into the piece. Have that roughed in. And again, the opposite side. But again, you can see different parts. Next step would be putting them together. Just starting to rough it down or shape it out somewhat. I think overall, the laying in part is done. You will be observing the process that I use in taking down or shaping in the body, the overall body of the piece. This is a really smooth and accurate way for me to have a lot of control over what I'm taking away. And at the same time, not just carving away, but really giving it a nice smooth finish at the same time as I'm, I'm shaping and forming her body, her wing area. This is a takes time but a little bit at a time and just smoothly takes it away a step at a time shaping her wings more or adding more depth to the overall wing area as you observe that the front part of it has come down considerably from before and this takes little steps at a time but again the process here is slow but well worth the time and effort it takes to get it absolutely neatly done. If you don't get it neatly done now, then you're going to have a problem later on. And as you'll see, the shaping and the forming of the wings is starting to take shape here also. It's a slow process, but a This is after about an hour's worth of, of removing or shaping the wing area. It just, it's a time-consuming process. Again, I know I keep on repeating that, but I just want to give you an idea 
Oh, this is what after an, about an hour's worth of uh, shaping and forming. This is how far down I've gotten on the piece. But again, you'll see how it's taking shape a little bit at a time. Three hours later, and the ruffle in is just about done for right about an hour on this stage. I just wanted to show you how thick she is right now before I really start losing, she starts losing weight. Right now when I started she was 30 pounds. It would be interesting to see how much she weighs when I have her all done, but you can see here the slope and the angle of the head will be coming down significantly as we progress. But this gives you an idea of what is going to be here now and what will not be here when I'm done. As you will observe, I'm taking quite a bit of material away from her head area and really starting to add form to the overall beak and head area or neck area of of the eagle. As you'll see, I'm, I'm giving it sweeping or long strokes so it has a real flow to the overall presentation when she's done here. It's a little bit time consuming, but well worth the effort. Making more progress on God Bless Our Home. As you will see, the head's been rounded off more to flow into the body. The marks you see here are registration marks, so when I bring the feathers down, I have an exact idea of where the feathers are going to be. So they basically go around the side but they give me a good idea of where I'll be placing my feathers for her head when I get to that point. But the ends coming together and the depth is starting to take shape along the back side here. And you'll see that also here. Zoom in here and you can see a little more there. But overall, starting to take shape. We'll be working on the banners and the folds, which will take some time, and then get up here into the shield and the head area. Start laying in more feathers and adding in more detail as I go along. Stopping here for a moment to show you how I'm going to proceed on the wings. This is, of course, the left side. But at the same time, I wanted to have, a, have it higher, but I want to have a nice big swoosh to the wing. So I'm carving into the wing area and flowing it down into the overall presentation of the eagle. The banners have been taken down. Working on them. Working on the shield. Working all over, so to speak, but basically I wanted to give you an idea of how a machine could not be doing what I'm doing. A lot of people out there that do everything with a machine, but I don't do that. Everything's done by hand. Everything takes time. And that's why people enjoy my work. But I'm just talking about myself now. And you can see how the banner's coming in, the flag's coming in, and the shield's coming in. The journey continues. Laying in the feathers on her wings, both sides. As you'll see, it's going to have a deeper cut and a more full body feather area or wing area. And also I'm laying in more detail into the banner, actually not a banner, but actually the United States flag and her shield and the depth I'll be adding to the area where her claws are coming down into the overall carving. The ends are coming down into the shape, being shaped in. Overall the presentation is adding more and more detail as I come along. I have a little bit of a change here. It's going to be a lot more roundness to the feathers on the wings versus the static hard points that I had in her sister. But each piece is unique. Each piece has its own personality. And this one's going to have a nice personality to it. Hope you're enjoying the journey as much as I am. This is the fun part for me. Adding some more details that I didn't have before. God bless our home has developed to the point where she is now installed on the wall of my studio so I can observe her for a while and 
start picking up any flaws or areas that I don't like before I really start getting into more detail work. It's easier now doing that than waiting till later on. You can see how nicely the head has come away from her body. And swing it over here. You can see how it really comes out. It's almost like the Lancaster Eagle that John Bellamy did. I really love that head on that eagle. It's a nice style, nice technique. But this is my technique on her, and she's really coming away from her sister's presentation. You'll notice the flow of the banners have all come together. And the flow, go over here. You can see how the curvature is on her wings. On this side, and on this side, both ways. So, this is her up to date right now. A rainy day here on Martha's Vineyard, but I just wanted to show the progress on our eagle. God bless our home is coming along nicely. Smoothing out and adding more form and detail to her as we proceed. And, as you will see, this is the back side of her head, or her beak area. And... This is the front side. I want more detail being added. You really might not notice it right now, but when you see it the next time, you'll have a lot more. And I'm going to put this up here. And that's how she looks right now. She's coming along really nice. I should say so. The hard part of this process is that you keep on carving and carving and carving and you don't know where the hell you're going until it gets done. But this part of it is really the most important part because you're adding or detracting areas that you might not see at the end. Hi. Thanksgiving Day here on Martha's Vineyard. And the progress on God Bless Our Home is coming along nicely. You'll see much more depth and more curvature in the eagle's wings. The banners, and the uh, banners, but the flag itself, I was going to carve in the detail into the stripes, but I'm decided against that. I'm going to now just have that a flur, a flow come over, as you really say. And you can see the depth that's being added to the banner. And it's starting to come away from the wall. Or have a three-dimensional aspect to the front and the back side of it. See that right there? Claws head itself her beak is really gonna be proud it's gonna almost be like the Bellamy Eagle at Lancaster head I really love that head on that particular carving that he did and again the flow and the overall presentation she's coming along nicely just wanted to share hope you enjoy the journey God bless our home She's adding a lot more detail, as you will see here. The tassels are coming to life. The folds on the flag banner are around it. And the back side, around the shield area. This is the back side fold area. And you'll see all the same thing on the opposite side. And the tassels. And how she's actually taking shape and form. I have to do the back side as well as the front side so I have a good presentation. Now I'm going to flip this over. <clears throat> Whoops. And see the front side. And how the folds actually. And the detail into the feathers. Detail in the feathers is really coming to life for me. And here's our front side here. You can see from the back side now, the front side now, it's going to have a flow and a flare to it. So it actually has a life to it. Time to step back and observe what we've accomplished so far on God is bless our home. As you can see, well, I'm going to keep on saying that, but as you observe the tassels and the end, and then we go this way. And you see her proud head coming out a lot more smoothly and flowing into the body. And then we come down this way and you're going to see 
the folds and how natural and how they flow in with the overall carving. And of course, we go to the opposite side and we see the same thing occurring or happening with tassels. And the underneath part, a little bit different from her sister, where actually I have the folds of the banner or the flag folding underneath of her versus being on top. And then the overall presentation. And she comes quite nicely. Our journey continues on to the priming stage. As you will observe, she's been all carved to the point where I have all the detail and all the feathers, the head area. See how that looks here. Back side. The ends. Once again, the detail has been time consuming, but at the same time, it's been a lot of fun. You'll see her head and her claws. The detail in her claws is going to be beautiful. The banner and the folds. Overall, it's been a journey, but it's been fun. I'll be making up the priming solution of linseed oil, turpentine, and an oil-based paint, which will seal her up, and then I'll recarve her and sand her. Until then, bye. All primed and starting to set up. It's gonna take probably about two, a good two days, but we add that linseed oil to the mix, it really makes it a lot more tacky, but at the same time, it really penetrates the wood. As you can see, we've got different layers and how well it absorbs into different areas. But overall, give it a few days to harden up, and then I'll be back on to her sanding her down and starting to get the final details in. But overall, I think she's coming along nicely. And as you'll be able to see here, one side to the other side. Well, she's been all carved, recarved, I should really say, not carved. More detail added. And the next step is going to be after I show you her, how you can see all her feathers are in, sharper, crisper than before. The same thing with all the ends. Came along real nice. I mean, she's a beautiful carving as before. You'll notice that there's a lot more detail in her now. Claws, her head, flags, the end. Next time you see her, she'll have her first coat of paint on it, but I'll go over her one more time to find out any more hiccups that I might have then. I'll attach her head permanently to her body. Until then, bye. A fast update on the first coat. And you can see how it has a nice shine to it being wet. As it dries, it will lose the shine and soak into the mahogany or soak into her body, so to speak. And I'll pick up a few more hiccups that I don't that I couldn't see before that I do now. And I'll smooth those out and continue on with the painting process. But I think she came out nice to put those tassels. Yep. Other than that, that's it for now. Showing you what you don't see when she's gonna be up on the wall or on the building in the back side of her. You can see this more and more detail, more and more smoothing out of all my little hiccups that I have. So she has a soft, or as I say, a solid smooth finish. And you can see the back side of her head, the beak area, all carved in. Some sanding being done there, but more and more detail, more Christmas being added to her. It's always good to see the process behind the scenes, so to speak. And then we're going to go to the front side. And I'll be working on this next. You'll see the different areas that are patched up with a special mixture that will make everything really nice and smooth. But she's really coming along nicely. 
gonna be a nice, nice, nice presentation when she's done. Before I progress too far, we wanted to give you an idea of how the two inch piece of mahogany will look as I start to shape her down, shape the banner down to fit the face or the body, as you really say, and you can see how that part there is being trimmed down. This is a slow process. You have to cut it, fit it, cut it, and fit it. So, it's not going to have the big swirls in it or big dips in it, but it will have a better flow to it, so to speak. And it's more like a jigsaw puzzle fitting all the pieces in. But this will give you an idea of how she will start it out to compare it to what she's going to look like when she's finished. What you see is what you get. The banners are being trimmed and thinned, as you will observe here, to fit the overall body of our eagle. God bless our home is coming along nicely. You can see the black line that will be basically the flow of the banner when it's done. And then we come over here and you can see her head. And then we got the other banner that will flow under the beak area. You can see how that's gonna flow according to the overall body of the piece of the carving. Come over here. And you see the flow coming over. When I go to attach it, I'll be putting pins in three or four areas on each side to really secure it to the overall body. This piece. She'll be going outside on the building, so I'm making the banner a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier than normal. So she can stand up against the elements. But overall, I think the, over the piece is coming along nicely. Keep on working on the banners and thinning them out. More progress on our eagle. This is the banner. You can see the carving on how it's progressed on her on our banner there that will be attached to her body and of course the flag down below I'm going to be putting in the red stripes in next but you can see how absolutely smooth and perfect that is I've laid in the blue and her claws and her beak area see some overlap now, but the overlap will be gone once I start cold leafing her. Here's the other banner flowing into her body. She's coming along nicely. One step at a time. One step at a time and then all of a sudden she's almost done. As you will observe, the stripes are all painted in, or painted on, our eagle, with the flags, and you can see how nicely that's come out. A little shiny, but still gives you the impression of how everything flows together. Next stage you'll see, we'll be, be adding the stars. and then carving the stars in. Again, a little bit shiny from the quality of the paint, but in the long run, it will last a lot longer and give us a much better presentation. And you can see that little signature that makes it official. Signed, sealed, and getting ready to get done. Next stage is going to be the stars. Our journey continues with the carving of the banners. God bless our, God bless our home. And you'll see I've carved the stars in, the flags, the shield, and in the other side of the flags. Overall, See the flow to her. This is the, the devil's in the details.
and the details are coming to life. Next time you see her, she'll have a, the letters will be completely red or gold leaf. I don't know what the process is going to be, but we'll be starting on the gold leaf next. We're pretty damn close to getting it done. I think you're going to enjoy the, the process a lot more now than what you have up till now. The gold leaf is always the fun part. Starting the gold leafing with a new sizing. This is the solution that I put down onto my carving after it's all painted. It's called a slow sizing. It basically has a time set of anywhere between 12 and 24 hours. And I trying this and it seems to be fine since I have go to a new paint surface, a new paint product I should say. It's a European paint. And I'm going to show you this over here. What I did is I did a test strip. You can see how, how beautiful the gold is. And, and how it sets up in different drying times. The drying times start off at zip in here from 11, 15, 18, and 22 hours. So now I'm going to be in the process of gold leafing the back side of the eagle. The part that you really won't see, but still. It's not what you see, it's what you don't see sometimes. And you'll be able to see the back side as I progress on her. But right now, it's all paint set up and ready to go. Give this new sizing a shot at, seeing how well it works on my eagle. Doing the gold leaf thing now. As you're going to observe, once again, how beautiful this gold just flows into this surface of my eagle. The duck's sizing is more than I had hoped for. And I really have to thank the time that Seps told me about this and my friend back in Pittsburgh, Michael, who does those beautiful icons. And you can see how it just flows right into the piece. How nice and that's just how beautiful it is. It's, it's a process, a little bit of time. And that's the the material and you can see how it's starting to go on to the beak area now really it's magical never get tired of seeing this happen well I never get tired of seeing it happen because the piece is getting finished and that makes me very happy bye a few touch-ups but overall this has probably been one of my better first layers or first installment of my gold leaf on a, on a piece in a long time. You see a little touch up there. And you see a little bit there, but basically, wow. The Seps gold really, huh. this Italian gold leaf from Seps is really great. And the ducks I'll spin this around. Show you that front a little bit. You can see how that's going to look even behind. Part you're not going to see, but nonetheless, it's all part of the carving. Not a sculpture anymore. My pieces are becoming more sculptures than they are carvings. Just fine by me. I enjoy the process. And you can see how it's a little spot there, but overall. Sometimes you think you have an area really good like there, that's a hiccup, but that would be touched up in a few minutes. And then we proceed to the front side. We started this journey six months ago, back in October, and now we're finally coming to an end. You'll see the stars, gold leaf, you'll see a few little spots here and there. You'll observe those. Those will be touched up shortly, but basically, or I can say basically, but finally, it's all done. I think it's going to be see the bottom of the tassels. And then we come down to God bless our home. That, the Italian gold leaf is really a superior product. Along with the new sizing by ducks. The shine is marvelous 
Sometimes it gets so shiny you can't even see where the hiccups are. Or what they call them as Hollywoods. But you'll see how that looks. Next time you see her, she'll be pretty well together. I wanted to share how she looks before I put the banners on. You'll notice the carving and the gold leafing is already oh, came out nice. The, the Seps Italian gold and really the new sizing I'm using as the solution that you put on to adhere the gold to the piece is really superior. A lot less touch ups and a much better quality shine. And as you'll see, with God bless, slow down here. You can see how utterly fantastic that does. When the sun hits it, it's going to be a real knockout. And next time you see her, she'll have her banners on. All finished and flying proud for the time being in my studio. She really has the curves that I was anticipating she would have. The head, the flow of the banners, the tassels. Let's see, underneath. Flow the banner, our tassels, and her overall presentation I think is what I was seeking to have. Overall I'm very proud of this piece. It's another family heirloom for a nice patron. Enjoy. Enjoy.